Hi guys! Hello there! And welcome to another episode of Massey Art, Art Studios. Studios. I am so excited about this weekend. It I'm has just been too. so amazing and it's going to continue after us. The TLPs are going to, you know, continue after us uh, after this premiere. And I hope you all, I hope you guys all catch the train and keep on following it. Indeed. Yes. Choo choo. I like Garrick Brown says. <laughs> exactly. I can't stop doing that every time I think of a premiere train now. So today we're going to have a lot of fun that's going to happen on this episode. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to do something really interesting. I don't think I've ever done one of these before. I can't remember, but I don't think you have either. I know. So I'm going to be doing a dustpan pour. I have lent him Donald for this episode. <laughs> yeah, I'm really excited to see what you do. I know, me too. What mm. are you going to do? I'm going to do, well, you see, because you're doing my ring pour, sorry, my dustpan, I'm going to do your ring pour. Oh, that's yeah, great. Yes, so I'm going to do a wrecked ring pour on, oh. we've got huge 24 by 24 inch canvases. 24 by 24 inch canvases. Yeah, only just yeah. fit on the table. I know. Right, so we're <laughs> going to be, you know, definitely wrangling these, these canvases. So 24 by 24s, dustpan yes. and ring pour. All right, I can't wait to show you guys the colors that we picked and, or that I picked. You did? I did, I picked these colors. Yeah, so we're gonna see what happens with these. Um, but why don't we go ahead and just get to the table and uh, yeah, see what happens. We'll see you at the table. Hey guys, it's Jeremy here and I am super excited about this pour. Um, I have this giant, amazing canvas in front of me. It is a 24 inch by 24 inch gallery wrapped canvas. It's huge. It's huge. Um, it has been pinned and taped on the bottom uh, and it's all ready to go. Yeah, I just want to say guys, because I'm sure you can pick up on this on camera, that these Michael's canvases have been sagging a little, yeah. a little like more than normal corners. for some reason. Yeah. But the show pony has sprayed the, this one with water. As we pour on it, this will tighten up also. Yes, exactly. Yeah, but they, it's been really weird with the yeah. Michael's canvases lately. I don't know why. Yeah. So, the colors that we are using today, mm -hmm. I chose, and I'm really excited about these. You did. Yes. So, I have this Mauve Pale Purple by Arteza. Or if you're in England, I will translate. This is Mauve. <laughs> um, and then offer subtitles. <laughs> Titanium White by Amsterdam. Or in England, Titanium White. I have Peacock Pearl by Deco Arts Dazzling Metallics. Love it. Dazzling. We have lots of peacocks in England. Right? Mm -hmm. um, Deco Arts Metallics, and this is the sapphire. Um, this is such a beautiful blue, the sapphire. It is. Um, now we also have the Amethyst, which is the, also the Deco Arts, Arts Metallic. Shiny Lilac. Oh my God, so, so beautiful. Um, we have Light Phalo Blue by Goldens. Love it. Mm -hmm. And then we also have Dioxazine Purple. Yes. A bevy of wonderful colors. By Goldens, yeah. I'm a little nervous about these colors, show pony. Sometimes, sometimes I'll look at your choices and be like, mm, I like these. Sometimes I'll look at them and be like, what in the heck was he thinking? <laughs> um, this, I think you think that a lot about my color I I'd absolutely do. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, but um, but we'll see what happens. So there's a there's a little, another little bottle over there. Oh yeah. So um, the sergeants. Um, this is the acrylic pearl pearlescent mixing medium. Now this right here, you put this in your paint if you want it to have a pearl finish on it. And it went into your base coat, right? It did. It went into my base coat, which is this incredible like really pretty blue that is a mix of the phalo blue light by goldens it's yes. definitely got some of the sapphire in there and it then is. the pearl sergeant's medium yeah so this is going to be my base coat lovely so tell everyone what you're doing what are you doing well i am going to be breaking out one of your faves mm -hmm. i'm going to be doing a dustpan mm -hmm. pour. yes you are. A little uh, dustpan action across the bottom of this canvas Yeah, here. I'm a little jealous because I wanted to do a bit of a Donald pour myself and uh, and you're definitely going to do this one. Well, We're going to see what happens. You can do one too. I don't know whether I want to now. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> All right. 
All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and get to layering my cups. Okay. And then I'm going to put my base coat down. All right. And I'm going to put my cup in my, pour my cup in my okay. dustpan. Right. And then I'm going to... Okay. And then, and then you're going to get your edges and you're going to take them in for a close up and then you'll probably wash your hands. Yeah. And then <laughs> you might... <laughs> Thank you for the wonderful narrative. <laughs> the walkthrough. Exactly. <laughs> okay, let's see here. Um, I really have to choose wisely on what I want to be. Oh, really? Out of Why my is cup. that? Because you got basically 16 of the same color. Those colors are totally different. They are totally different. I'm just winding you up now. I'm just being silly. Oh. But you have got seven delicious colors there. Um, now be careful, sir. This canvas is 20 by tw 24 by 24 canvas is taking up a lot of room. Yes. And we are pouring inside yes. with what is actually 140 ounces of paint on the table. Yes. So um, no spillages, Let's sir. Go. We won't use all that paint. But... Oh, no, we will over the two pores, I'm guessing. Yeah, the 24 inch yeah, maybe. canvas. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Okay, I'm gonna start with the Peacock Pearl. A little bit of Peacock, per peacock Pearl. Now I'm actually gonna go in with the Mauve. <laughs> what? You were looking at me as if you needed any validation of what we were gonna put in there next. I did not. I'm not saying a word. A little bit of white. Scandalous. Scandalous. There is no scandal. It's just every time I put white in a cup, no matter where it is, Jeremy just says <laughs> scandalous. <laughs> that I do. That I do. Um, next, I'm going to go in with, I think, some of the amethyst. Or should I go in with some of the sapphire? I think I'm going to go with a little bit of the sapphire. All these paints are mixed with Floetrol. So um, there's about 20 ounces, 18 ounces of paint in each one of these cups because we're both gonna pour. Um, so there is about four to five, no, three to four ounces of gloss medium, about yes. four to five ounces of paint, and then the rest is Floetrol. I would say that the Deco Arts are just mixed a little heavier because the metallic paints are normally just a little runnier. That wonderful dioxazine. Scandalous. Now I want to go back in with the Peacock Pearl. And then this time I'm gonna go in with, oh, that's pearl on pearl. Let's go on this one. Oh my goodness. Do, it, 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 is it finally registered? <laughs> Did you, have you, are you Eureka? He's got it. Finally, he just stopped himself putting pearl on pearls. You're cracking me up. <laughs> um, it's only taken 273 episodes. Whatever. <laughs> You crack me up. A little bit more white, the scandal of it all. Careful. Okay, let's see here. I'm gonna ask you guys who are in the chat to comment at this moment in time, whether you appreciate seeing the layers going in these cups, or if you prefer us to speed this moment up, because this is a four minute layering, because it's a big boy. Um, or would you rather not see this part and just have it speeded up? Answers in the live chat, please, if you're watching this live. Or in the comment section if you choose to do so. All right. Look at that traffic light of lavender loveliness. I think it's going to come out really interesting. Really, Show Pony? Yeah, I'm really excited about I'm it. I'm excited for you too. And also a little anxious. <laughs> Just it matches your eyes. All right. So, sir, yes. are you going to ring pour and then flow extend? Oh, no, 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 no. because you're going to do the yeah. top and bottom. All right. Yes. All 
All right, guys, I got my dustpan and I got my cup here. It is time to start ringing in the dustpan. Ringing Donald. Okay guys, so I have in my hands my dustpan. So I'm going to actually wreck this. Uh, I've never done this before. No, you have not. Look at you, Mr. Innovator. So let's go ahead and try this. Okay guys, so I got my pan right here. It is time to start pouring this onto the canvas. I'm so nervous about this. I think it's tilting time. <laughs> it's tilting time. Let's tilt this bad boy out. Let's do it.
Wow, guys, I am so excited about this painting right here. My first dustpan. Your first dustpan. Yes. Yeehaw to Donald. Yes. So I'm loving all the purples and the blues right. and this peacock that pet poked through. You got a little bit of the white here and there, like making its way through that purple. Right. I love the dioxazine purple, like this so really pretty. dark line right there. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm in love with this piece. I love all the blue. Like, I just think it works really, really well. Um, I'm going to fix my edges. Okay. I'm going to Clean up all my edges. I torch it off one more time. Torch it off one more time and then take you guys in for a close up. Let's do it. Yes. Oh, wow, there's Show Pony. And welcome, ladles and jelly, jelly spoons. It's Lee. Show Pony, that was so soft and like subtle. And I love it. I really enjoy your use of that dustpan. And I like that you wrecked it. That gave her definitely a very different composition. Thank um, you. Definitely something that I would consider doing for sure. Now, okay, one of the advantages that I always say to you guys about going second is the chance to look at the pour and to kind of make some changes and course corrections. Um, I feel as though for me there might be one too many of the deco arts, so I've removed one of them. Okay. Uh, it was the lilac y colour. And I've thrown nice. in some ultramarine because it's got some purple tones to it. So I've still got the seven colors, six including the white, but I've just swapped two out. Um, I have a 24 by 24 inch canvas as well. It's blooming huge. It's a little daunting, but I got my 32 ounce paintpourstore.com handled split cup, and this is a three chamber cup. So I'm going to layer this one with the three chambers, but get lots of paints and lots of layers in each one of these chambers. Yeah. That is my plan. All right, show pony, without much further ado, less waffle. I'm going to get to layer it, if that's okay. Sure. Then I'm going to layer it for you right here, sir. And I'm going to go through this fairly quickly. But I've just thought of something I'm going to do. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, I'm going to do it. All right, so let's go in with the light phalo. Ultramarine. Delicious dark sapphire. Then the mauve. I'm not even sure how you say that one again. Move. Mauve. Movie. And then the dioxazine. All right. And then in this one, I'm going to reverse. So I'm going to start off with the dioxazine. Then the mauve. However you say it. Mauve. Mauve. Yeah. This time I'm going to do peacock. before doing ultramarine. Capping off with the phalo. So same colors, just reversed. And then in the middle, I'm gonna go somewhat lighter. So um, I'm going to do white, because I haven't. Um, and then I'm going to do ultramarine. some more white. I said lighter, but I'm actually going dioxazine. Some more white. Let's get that blue in there. And then let's finish off with sapphire on this side. 
All right, I think that's it. I said light in the middle, but actually I've got some delicious dark colors in there too. It's really cool, you can see them through the cup. Right, I love that. All right, huge big canvas. It's not really that big, 24 by 24 doesn't sound that big because we've done 36 by 36s and 40 by 36s and all sorts of stuff, but it just feels really big for some reason. Maybe it's because it's on this one table. So here's my 32 ounce split cup that's got probably about 28 ounces of paint in it definitely more than I need. I'm going to ring pour this one dry, there's no puddle in this one, straight onto the canvas. Wow, perfect dismount. Oh, thank you. All right. This is a wrecking episode. I did come in like a wrecking ball and I am going to wreck this one just like the show pony just did. Last episode you saw me or the episode before you saw me wreck a straight paw. Now I'm gonna wreck this ring paw. Show pony. Do not look at me with those eyes. I really do want to wreck this one because there needs to be <laughs> something in it. And it's a big old canvas. So let's do this. I'm going to wreck this one, dry, then add my flow extender. Sure. All right, consider that one wrecked. Now let's get a flow extender down on this canvas. Now this flow, a little bit different than Jeremy's. So this is titanium white mixed with a little bit of the phalo blue. And then there's a little bit of the peacock pearl in here as well. So it's a really like delicious um, color. I was thinking about using some negative space. Well, that was before I decided to do a ring. So um, we may or may not see this. I'm going to get this on the canvas and we'll see. All right, folks. Base coat on, torched, done. Now it's time to tilt this big bad boy out without spilling any paint off the table. <laughs> Challenge accepted, show pony. Yes. Are you ready for this one? I'm ready. I'm ready too. All right, people, what time is it? It is tilting time. It's tilting time. Let's tilt this one out.
folks there you have it I like it I like it a lot I'm loving the waves of blues and dioxazine purples through this one mm -hmm. um, I tilted it to where I got rid of some of that lilac -y color that mauve that I didn't want but I don't I, I really love it actually peeking through in some of the other colors yeah um, no I really like this one it is, this is fun this is like crashing waves it's very blue very pretty and I like it um, I'm going to take you in for a close-up. Thanks, guys. So there you have it. There you have it. <laughs> I love being able to say that. It's I so know. much fun. I just don't know why I get such a Cheeky. tickle out of it. I don't know why. <laughs> so we um, we have some dried results we to do. show you. We yes, do, do. everything's been drying inside the house really, really well. Within 24 hours, it dries in the oh whole garage in a week. In and a in week, the house is 24 hours. Yeah. So we've been bringing them inside to dry. So why don't you go ahead and show yours? This is a big canvas, so I'm gonna I'm going to yeah. probably take up all the space. Absolutely. So this is my wrecked ring. Um, I do love this one. Oh, it's so it. cloudy. The colors are so awesome. I was a little skeptical of all those blues and lilacs that the show pony picked, but I really, really enjoy that kind of composition in a wrecked ring, and I'm so glad that I wrecked it. But if I can take you in for a little close-up, got some really wonderful lines. That dioxazine purple center there was really pretty. Yeah, I really, really like this one. It's a very different kind of almost monochromatic color palette, even though there were two colors in here. Um, those purples and those blues, but I really enjoyed that one. It was very pretty. Thank you. No, thank, thank you. you. I, I'm in love with that piece of yours. Oh, I just you. love it. I think it's so beautiful. Well, I appreciate you. Yeah. And then mine, my dustpan came out like this. I love it. I, I, I'm in love with this piece. I really love all the negative space you get in a dustpan. Yeah. Um, you know, this one was again, very soft. It was very subtle. I really enjoy yeah how yours is definitely more lilac and mine is more blue, but I, call, I course corrected, I added a different color in mine. Um, I had ultram, ultramarine, but I really love how soft and subtle and pretty yours is. You've got some really great lines. I like how you wrecked your dustpan. Dustpan? Yeah, because I've never done that before. I really love that. Yeah, so it was definitely interesting to wreck it in the pan before you tilted it out. Yeah. I think I'd like to choose some really bold, opaque colors and have yeah. you do that dustpan again. Okay. Yeah, because um, I really love the deco art colors, clearly, but um, they seem to have just have, have kind of blended your composition. Yes. But it was really stunning. I like it a lot. Thank you. Yes. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. So as you know, the Piggy Love collab is going to be going after us. Please follow that and watch all those wonderful artists. Mm -hmm. It's going to be so great. I think it starts at five o'clock Eastern oh, okay. tonight, and it will finish with Shelly for closing out the, oh, the, wow. the collab. That's so amazing. yeah, it's going to be really fun. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So um, 
happy Valentine's Day. For tomorrow. For tomorrow. Right. Yes, to everybody. And we will see you on Tuesday. Thank you so much for being here, watching, commenting. We love you guys. If you haven't already, please like and subscri please, subscribe. Please, please, please. And we'll yes. see you back on the channel for a normal episode on Tuesday, running down to that auction and Super Chat Super Sticker giveaway. That's right. We'll see you very soon. Bye, guys. Bye. And now to spank the Patreons. Spank the Patreons? Yeah. Who are the Patreons? Yeah, well, let me tell you. <laughs> the Patreons are a really special group of people um, that have joined us on our Patreon account. Now, that is a very special account to our YouTube channel. Yeah. And over there, people can opt into certain tiers or certain levels. One level will give you sneak peeks and behind the scenes footage. Lots of little secrets about what's going on in Massiar Studio. At another level, you'll get access and invited to a WhatsApp group where the show pony and I <laughs> chat, we share pictures, and then we set a weekly painting challenge. Yes. At a different level, you also get access to an exclusive once a month live stream that isn't aired on the YouTube channel. And at the platinum level, you also get access to a once a month tutorial where we do like a real deep dive into a, a technique or yes. something that the guys, the platinum patrons, really want to know about. Now to spanking those people. At our gold level, we have Trisha West, Terry Leshner, Tammy Hasbrook, Stephanie Hancock, Sharon Luffy, Rebecca Hawes Winters, Patsy Petrelli. We have Nate Bright and Misty Tyson. We have Mama Doulas, Linda Serien. We've got Kelly Stowell, Janice Swansea. We've got Jane Klein. We've got Gloria Salaki, Gillian Kennedy, Donna Panis, Donna Patterson, and Amy Gardner, AKA, AKA Crafty Chicken Mom. Oh, that's a lot of spanking. It is a lot of spanking. Well, the spanking continues okay. with the platinum level. Right. Who is Susan Shepperson, Leslie Beaver, Janice and Steve Pittman, Elaine Burton, Dana Foxley, and at the diamond level... Hey, you all know her, I love her. <laughs> Sparkles. Sparkles. Yay, I've got a sore hand from all that spanking. <laughs> so to you guys and everyone else down below at the bronze and silver level, thank you so very much for wanting to be with us, for the extra support, and uh, for wanting to take a little bit of extra interest in Massey Art Studio. Absolutely. Thank you guys.